Chateau. I'm trying to keep things a little bit more silent in this general direction, but I have spectacularly failed. However, what we have to show you out here is the approaching weather conditions. Now, this is the crossing that the wildebeest were at, and just have a look at the intensity of this particular storm. Look at the lightning rolling in. In fact, oh goodness. It is really, truly ominous looking out here. And if you have a look at the wind, you can see the clouds of dust blowing. It's almost as though there is a crossing happening, but it's just the wind blowing the dust backwards and forwards. And then if Lou, if we could, it actually might be quite nice to switch to dusty crossing, which looks even more ominous. I mean, dusty looks really, truly terrifying. Look at this, look how dramatic the sky looks. And when I look outside, it's actually quite weird. I look outside and I see a lightning flash out of the window and then I can see it sort of corresponding with the crossings lighting up. The wildebeest have scattered, they've decided that this really is not the weather for a crossing. Just not the day for it. And one can hardly blame them. I wouldn't want to have to cross in that weather either. It is really quite scary. Let's go back to Maine North. You can see it's pouring with rain. James, of course, is out there somewhere possibly a bit windswept and maybe a little bit of damp. Hopefully he's found somewhere to bunker down, somewhere safe and secure, because it really is a serious storm on its way. And even though, I mean, this is not the rainy season in Kenya, um, or at least in the Masai Mara, but that doesn't mean it doesn't rain. It rains all year round, though it is bucketing down. And then if you have a look at Maine South, actually, up to the mountain towards where we are, doesn't look that bad at all. Look at that. But it's blowing in our direction. So on the other crossings, you were looking to the south. If you look at, if you compare the way that the water was flowing, this way you're looking to the north and in the direction of where I'm sitting up at the top of the mountain. Mm, very ominous. And I think it's safe to say that there are not going to be any crossings anytime soon. And in fact, it's starting to get a little bit too dark for these cameras. So for now, um, the team in the Mara Migration Control, which consists of me, will be saying a farewell to you all. And we'll send you back to the hopefully dry Byron in South Africa.